It was an intense moment on Idol last night as the Davids were the last men standing, but in a surprise ending, the difference of 12 million votes crowned 25 year old David Cook this year's American Idol over 17 year old David Archuleta. The winner by 12 million votes of American Idol 2008 is David Cook. Janice Min is the editor-in-chief of Us Weekly magazine. Janice, good morning. Good morning. This was an upset, wasn't it? I mean, 97 million votes and 56% went yep. to David Cook versus 44% to Archuleta. Why was it such a surprise if I thought the competition was closer? Well, listen, I mean... People had called it for David Archuleta almost from the time the show began, and it was it seemed like a foregone conclusion, probably most of all to David Cook. When you looked at the expression on his face last night and the mm -hmm. tears, he could not believe it. And I think David Archuleta, who looked like he was about to take one step forward practically to claim the victory, was also equally stunned. It was really you know one of the greatest upsets. How do you think the two stacked up? And let's talk first about David Cook. Mm -hmm. um, He's David clearly the rocker. He, he's amazing, and I think it's a good precedent for American Idol to set now that a rocker can win. When you look at Chris Daughtry, for example, mm -hmm. I mean, that guy has gone on to be one, of the, he, one of the hugest musicians yeah. ever. And, um, uh, and so, you know, when you look at the other people who won last, like last time, for example, Jordan Sparks, 17 years old, she didn't really take off. I think that um, what people were looking for, clearly, uh, was some authenticity, some um, range of musical talent. Uh, David Cook proved he is a true gifted musician. Um, he played the guitar throughout, which played is a the new guitar. thing yep, Absolutely. And, you know, David Archuleta is a really gifted vocalist, but he might not have the maturity yet to be a blockbuster superstar. 17 years old, though, he certainly has a huge career ahead of him. A absolutely. Yeah, and, and you know, there are some who think there, there's that school of thought that it's actually better not to win Idol because then you do turn out to be a Chris Daughtry or you turn out to be a Jennifer Hudson and you go on to have much greater success. Well, it was funny, at the Us Weekly offices on uh, after after, after Tuesday night's performances, a lot of people were throwing around this conspiracy theory that yeah. maybe David Cook threw the performance. Maybe he didn't want to win. Maybe he needs that cred of being the loser to go on to become a bigger star. But obviously, you know, that, that theory was, was blown away when, after he won. What was really interesting is that Simon actually kind of apologized because he basically <laughs> declared on Wednesday night that David Archuleta was a knockout. Right. That, you know, going head-to-head -head each round. Right. That he was the one to beat. Right. Right. And, and But last night he said, I may have overstated things. Well, That's I think, kind of odd, right? I think you're going to see some discussion on the Internet today on different American Idol blogs that maybe Simon knew who the winner was right before it was announced. He mm. was sort of making a public apology, explaining what happened. You know, who knows? I mean, there's no, you know, there's no federal organization that's going to investigate who yeah. knew when here. Um, but, you know, it was clear that sentiment was going in David Cook's favor, and Simon went along with that. And, and what about David Archuleta's father, um, Jeff, who apparently there were reports that he he was sure. a little bit too much of a stage father, yeah. directing him throughout and giving him a little too much guidance. Um, uh, do you think that hurt him at all in the competition? I, you know, I don't. I don't think it helped. I think that you know we live in this age where momagers and dadagers now are, are heavily criticized. And you think about young kids being pushed too hard into being entertainers. Um, I think some people probably thought David Archuleta. He had that smile all the time. Was always yeah. so incredibly gracious, and you knew there was a lot of pressure going on behind the scenes. I mean, you look at David Cook. David Cook actually was hospitalized after one episode for heart palpitations. Um, this is a this is a high intensity, high really pressure. Is cooker situation, and um, I think that a lot of people were turned off uh, by what they perceived to be too much pressure on this one child. Yeah, yeah, all right. Well, Janice Min, thanks so much. It certainly was exciting. I was watching all last night. <laughs>